called one body system that is essential to keeping species alive. But unlike other body systems, it's not essential to keeping an individual alive. Yes, there really is and is the reproductive system, or also known as the genital system. It is believed to be the most important system with its vital role in the survival of the species. It includes our sex organs and allows us to reproduce. Reproduction is the process by which organisms make more organisms like themselves. In reproduction, two kinds of sex cells are involved. The female gamete, the ovum or the egg, and the male gamete, the sperm or the spermatozoa. These two combine to form an offspring and meet in the female reproductive system via sexual interference. It's our survival. Hi guys! I am Anatomy Taya and I am Anatomy Arjun and we will be talking about the mirror reproductive system. So Arjun, can you tell us why the mirror reproductive system is here? So, the male sex organs work together to produce and really semen in the reproductive system of the female to the sex or intercourse. The male reproductive system produces male sex or sperm. It also produces sperm sex hormones which helps the body develop in the sexually mature body. So now let's talk about the anatomy of the reproductive system. Now first of the male reproductive system Wow, Aya, it seems you know more of the male reproductive system than I do. Of course! It's because I studied anatomy. So now let's have a brief explanation of these different genitals and study how they work together. First off, it's the testes or testes in singular. The testes are the primary sex organs of the male and are very structured whose function is to the sperm. We reside in a pouch called scrotum, uh, which helps keep the testicles at temperature lower than that of the body. Inside each testicle are many tube like structures called seminary structures, where sperms are produced. Sperms are then transported to talk to the top of the testicles, then connect the next structure to the epididymis. Wait, 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 Aya. Oh, sorry, I just can't do it. So the epididymis is a coil tube located on top of each testicle and its function is to store mature sperm. The sperm then makes its way through the vas deferens the vas deferens connect with the seminal vesicles and across the prostate. These two accessory glands release secretions that mix with the sperm in order to form the semen. The ejaculatory duct carries the sperm into the urethra. The urethra is the channel that carries the semen to the outside of the body. And for the last stop, the penis. The penis is actually made up of two parts, the shaft and the glands. The shaft is the main part of the penis and the glands is at the tip. At the end of the glands is a small opening, which is where the semen and urine exit the body through the urethra. The penis contains erectile tissue and becomes erect due to sexual arousal. The glomerulonephrial gland, also known as the Popper's gland, is located on the side of the urethra, just below the prostate gland. It prepares the urethra for the ejaculation of the sperm. And that's made up the male reproductive system and journey of the sperm. So we hope you learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Anatomy Chelsea and I'm Anatomy Persia. Are you guys ready for another lesson? Now, if there is a male, of course there is a female. So now. called the ova or oocytes. It produces sex hormones such as the estrogen and progesterone. It also protects and nourishes the fertilized egg until it is fully protected. Wow, but the female reproductive system is surely amazing. It is more complex both structurally and functionally than the male reproductive system. 
It consists of the vulva or the external genitalia, vagina, cervix, uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the mammary glands. The external genitalia organs collectively are called the vulva, which covers the opening of the vagina and other reproductive organs located inside of our body. They also consist of the two skin flaps, the labia majora and the labia minora, which surround the vaginal opening. The clitoris is a small sensory organ that is located toward the front of the body, where the folds of the labial joint. Between the labia are openings to the urethra, one spurs become sexual The outer labia and the monstrous are covered by the pelvic now, let's go on to the internal reproductive organs. The vagina is a muscular hollow tube that extends from the vaginal wall to the uterus because it has muscular It can expand and contract. A very thin piece of skin-like tissue called the hymen partly covers the opening of the vagina. The vagina connects with the uterus or the wall at the cervix. It is the major female reproductive organ. Layers of smooth muscle called the myometrium make up the structure of the uterus. The function of the uterus in reproduction is to accept a fertilized egg or ovum, which becomes implanted in the uterine lining or the endometrium. Well, I guess that's all for the anatomy of the female reproductive system. Thanks for listening, guys!
Why is this cycle so universal? And what makes it a cycle in the first place? To make this topic more exciting, and because we love our viewers so much, we have a surprise for you guys. Guess what? The main cast of the short film, The Menstrual Cycle, will be joining us today. Functions are also present too. Yeah, the genetic material from a single cell divides, and you know it too. Yeah, it's coming to genesis, the production of gametes from some man. Let's go, team anatomy, and let's discuss it now. How sperms and ovaries are produced inside us. Spermatogenesis is how sperms are done. Oh, oh, Genesis 
is for over Inside us, for my today. 